How to GPU Mine Ubiq with AMD GPUs. Here is the Bitcoin Talk Forum Ubiq page. You can see that Ubiq was released or updated on January 28th, 2017. This marked the inception of a new blockchain using the Ethereum based Ubiq blockchain. Before the Ethereum blockchain, Ubiq was named Jumbux and it changed to Ubiq. It says the new chain will bring about many new capabilities through smart contracts, giving us a far greater opportunity for lasting applications while still having the existing value and stability from an established three-year-old market. It says Ubiq is proud to be the first Ethereum fork which brings about consensus level changes in the form of brand new code. The flux difficulty algorithm is one of the innovations of the Ubiq network. It says that the flux difficulty algorithm should protect the network from attacks on the blockchain. Ubiq works by proof of work. There are block rewards that start out at 8 and decrease by 1 yearly until it reaches a minimum of 1 UBIQ per block and the block time is 88 seconds. To mine UBIQ, we should use Genoil's miner for now. After about 30 days, Claymore's miner will be available for mining. You will be able to mine with Claymore, but for now you cannot. You can only use Genoil's. Here you can see a list of pools that you can mine Ubiq on. We're going to be using Supernova in this video, in this example. You can check out the other pools if you want to try a different pool. Under wallets, you can see source code and the binaries that are available. I'm going to be waiting for the Fusion GUI wallet. Here on Crypto Compare, we can see Ubiq coin. It has kind of taken off. Here on Supernova, we can see UBIQ. So I'm going to click on Start Mining. That will take me to UBIQ.Supernova.cc. I'll click on My Account and My Workers to create a worker for UBIQ. I'm going to be using my XFX rig here, so I'm going to call this worker name XFX. And password will be mine UBIQ. I'll click on Add New Worker. This rig is a mix of four 480s and two 470s. My worker has been created, so I'll go to Help and then Getting Started. Here we can see GPU Miner Windows. If we click on Download here, it will take us to Genoil's GitHub page. Here we can download his latest version of ETH Miner. I've already got mine downloaded, so I'll extract that. I'll go back to the Supernova page and check out the start command here. I'll go into my ETH Miner folders and open the batch file, edit the batch file. I'll go back to the Supernova example and there is a dash SP space 2. I will put the dash SP space 2 in between the dash G and dash S instead of after the dash S. Then I'll go back and I'll copy the pool. And paste the pool over the example pool in the batch file. And then I'll change my username, worker name, and password. I'll change Genoil to CryptoMind. And then I'll change my worker name from home to XFX. And then change the home password to MineUBIQ. And that's it. That'll work for me. You can also try to add dash dash OpenCL dash platform space zero or space one. If your system has any problems finding the GPUs, I don't need to do that. It seems to work fine just like this. So I'll save my batch file, minimize my batch file, and double click on the start batch to launch the miner. Click run. This launches the miner. Now depending on your CPU and your system, you might get a very slow typewriter effect. On this rate, I do get a slow typewriter effect. So I'm going to kind of fast forward through this for you a little bit, so it doesn't take as long.
Now the miner is mining. I'll go back to Supernova and click on Dashboard. My dashboard will soon update. Some of these cards are modded, some of them are not. I don't have any memory overclock on any of them right now, so you will be able to get higher speeds than what you see on my miner. My dashboard is now updating. It's starting to pick up my hash rate, my share rate. And now it picks up my worker, hash rate, and difficulty. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.